Right, hi there YouTube and thanks very much for joining me again. In this video we're going to be taking a look at removing passwords yet again, ethically of course. Now we're going to be focusing on Windows Vista. More specifically is Windows Vista Basic, the home edition, and even more specific is the 32-bit version of that. So we're going to go over onto the laptop, over on desk one, and we're going to take a look at how ethically you can do that. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and then let's crack on. Be strong. Be strong. Okay, now this machine was um, given to me and as you see it's password locked. Now this isn't very helpful if, I mean we, we can try all, all sorts of combinations really on here but the username and password is indeed incorrect. But I was digressing somewhat. This isn't exactly very good for our position if we're needing to do some form of data recovery. And, well, this is the pretty much the reason how I ended up with the laptop. It's basically a data recovery job. Uh, that and the machine was no longer wanted anymore. So I thought, well, what we'll do is we'll make a YouTube video out of essentially uh, removing the password on it. Sorry, I just have to move the camera a little bit so it's easier for us all to understand what's going on. And it, just on another digression note before we get started, it's not easy to do this with a tripod in between one's legs. Uh, so yeah, but anyway, what you're going to need for this is you're going to want a 32-bit version of Hiram's Boot CD. And this is Windows Vista Basic, Home Basic that is. And it's the 32-bit vari uh, variety of that. Um, procedure might be a little bit different for 64-bit operating systems. But anyway... What we're going to first start by doing is we're going to power this machine off. Like completely hard power off. Now what I want to do is stick in my USB into the side of the machine. Power on and then delete an F2 because I'm going to want to get into what's known as system BIOS. So it's just going to load that up. Okay, now your BIOS utility or setup utility may vary, but you're going to want to go something that looks like boot. Then in my case, I'm going to press enter and we can see that hard drives are boot bootable first. So let's go back to that. So hard drives are first, but we want that sand disk. Uh, there, we want that to be our first boot option. So we can press F6 and select that as first. Then just simply press F10 and save configuration and exit changes now. So just fire off with return key. And what we're going to get given is a splash screen for Hiram's boot CD. Now this may take a while, but you'll have to bear with me on this because we're going to have to load up a version of Windows XP. So there we are, there's Hiram's boot CD version 15.2 and straight away you're just going to want to boot mini Windows XP. And this is going to take a while. So what we'll do is we'll just give that a while and obviously while that's loading up I can tell you more uh, overall <coughs> pardon me 
about the scope of this job. So this is, as I said, it's a data recovery thing <coughs> that I'm doing. And the laptop was given to me. So obviously this is all ethical and above board. So in short, what I've got to do is just recover pictures and other files, which for the record I've already done. I'm just now showing you the process that I would go about doing this, um, certainly for the password removal. So that's, that's it in a nutshell, basically. So all we'll do then is we'll just give this a while to do its thing and load up. It shouldn't take too long. It's so a real-time video, so you can see how long it actually takes in real time. And more about the machine anyway. This one is running an Intel Celeron chip with 2 gig of RAM. I can't remember what the frequency is of the, the microprocessor in there or the CPU, but it doesn't really matter for the purposes of this video. Point is, I'm showing you how to ethically wipe off a password without needing to reinstall Windows and without losing any files. That's the trick here. I suppose you could do this on a pen test as well. Um, if there was a machine that was, uh, for example, uh, in an area which was interesting to the pen tester, then that might be an avenue to explore. But as always, make sure that you have permission uh, to attack any machine that you do this to. Uh, obviously, I'm giving myself permission here. So just a little while longer to go. But remember, as always, people, just keep it ethical. And I'm not responsible for what you choose to do. You're responsible for your own actions in this world. Has to be said, because obviously this is password cracking. Just give it another moment. That's nearly loaded. So what we're doing is we're just loading mini Windows XP into the RAM because uh, we're actually booting from a flash drive and we're loading it into virtual storage. <coughs> That's why this is taking quite a while. Okay. <coughs> so it's got Windows XP booted. And now it's time to get rid of that stinking password. There's a start button down there on the bottom left. I'm going to click that. And I am going to open up Hiren's Boot CD menu, which throws up a second window. So I'm going to go ahead and hit programs, and then I'm going to be looking for passwords stroke keys. And then what I want to do is where it says Windows Logon, I want to open up NTPW Edit. Now, the whole reason why we're doing this 
is because within Windows System 32 inside its configuration files, we hit reopen. We've now got administrator and Greg. So we're going to go ahead and remove the passwords on both of these. So just by simply hitting that and then changing password, I'm going to leave that blank. And then I'm going to do the same thing for that Greg. Change password, leave it blank. Save changes. And then I'm going to exit that. And I'm going to close this window down as well. And then I'm going to shut the machine down because this is done. So I'll just force a restart. OK. I can take out that flash drive. Containing the tool. And now what we can do is just wait for this to boot up. And with luck, password should be gone. <coughs> so start Windows normally. And let's see if it's gone. Sometimes it may take a couple of goes. Uh, but often or not, it'll just work first time. So we'll just see what happens. Right, it, I think it's worked. So what we'll do is we'll skip the disk checking. That usually comes up if it's worked. So there's two accounts on here. One for the administrator account and one for that so-called... Greg account. Let's see if it's removed. Let's check the one which has got Mike written on it. And the password looks like it's gone from there. So this puppy is largely done. But just to make sure, we're going to make sure that the uh, administrator account is removed as well or the password for that rather so we can get in and as you can see all of the existing files and folders are there so everything to be backed up i've already done that and now we can just simply go to that arrow there and log off and let's check the administrator account The machine is hecka slow. Let's tell it again. Oh no, it's going to log off now. Well, it was going to. Oh, now it is going to. Okay, so it's that administrator account now. <laughs> Let's just give this a moment. And that password should be gone as well. And indeed it is. We'll just give this a moment just to boot into our desktop. Just to prove it. And like I said, this will work for all versions of Windows Vista on 32-bit. For 64-bit, it might be slightly different. Uh, but definitely, this is a way that you go on 32-bit Windows, on Windows Vista. So there we are, people. That is that. And I think we can proceed to close out. Right, so there you have it. That brings us to the end of another video. And as you saw there, that was how to remove the passwords 
from user accounts on Windows Vista. In this case, it was 32-bit Windows Vista, and more specifically, it was Home Basic. But there you are, that is the end of another video, and as always, as I've said throughout the video and at the start, I also will say it at the end. Keep it ethical, so only do this on machines that you know that you have permission to do it on. Uh, for example, if it's part of your job, if they're machines that are given to you, or, you know, you're on a pen test or something of that nature. Uh, and if you have to, obviously get written consent beforehand. Now, just on the final note, it's fairly destructive, that password removal, in the sense that um, I'm never going to know what the original password was. All that I know is that it is gone. So it's not a very stealthy way of recovering a password. It's just simply brute forcing your way in at that point. But there we are. That brings us to the end of another video, as we said. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.